Hello, we can we can greet each other. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's let's try this. Oh, mere hum safar pyar ki raah par saath chale hum agar kya khabar raaste mein kahi reh gaye hum nashi tum kaha tum kaha louder ya yeah. come on tum kaha ho oh, where so put your hands together for yourselves we'll get there we'll get there i had to you know so uh, i heard uh, some very amazing singers are in the house and you know the problem is i would have come for your jobs but the thing is that uh, you know when i went to uh, you know learn classical uh, music and stuff uh, and to train my voice i was clearly told no no we we can't invest so much time because you have four hours and we will have no time for the other students so literally i had to you know sing in the bathroom and uh, so we'll get there you all will all will all get there i was there so um, uh, first of all let me tell you that uh, just like how we would the first thing we do is find differences right when we walk in and we'll see how different this person is or that person is from one another uh but and when i asked her to say hi to me or didn't say hi to me which upset me a little bit but you know what brought us together is art music that's what transcended all these barriers that we you know we we fake sometimes we fake it most times we fake it if you're in my industry um <laughs> yeah uh but um, i just want to say one thing is that uh the power that art holds and performance art um it's magical and i have to say this to you knowing for for a fact that i've seen such wonderful panels in the morning and i've seen such powerful women and i would uh, i would not say that you know the women uh, were more inspiring or the men were more inspiring Uh, I would just say that the panels were so inspiring and I made a point saying that you know I felt a little like not not welcomed as much because every time they were like ladies and gentlemen welcome to the global business summit and I was like okay then I should leave <laughs> right because I said um uh and and it's not your fault trust me it's not your fault it took me 30 years to understand that I'm transgender uh because we didn't have education we didn't we didn't have uh, any knowledge about uh the fact that uh, this is a reality because if you remember we have been portrayed beautifully in bollywood and in indian cinema haven't we you know we've always been shown to be to can you clap can you all all clap see but this this is adulation right this is when you but the what the way we've been shown on uh, on the screens is as if you should feel scared of our claps and uh, i think that that clap is very powerful just like how you celebrate people we celebrate our community my sisters from the hijra community let me tell you we are and i'm we are very proud to be transgender it's not something that you and i can deny it's like saying that okay you know yes we are different but we all are different from one another and i think the beauty lies in our uniqueness and the differences so i just wanted to come here come up here and uh, just uh, because probably this is the first time a lot of you all are even this close to uh, no wait no not really because my sisters come and ask you know at the, on your windows back home you'll meet most of my sisters even while coming but coming here you all might have met them so you all haven't so the but my thing is those two hands that ask you it, you know it takes a lot of it takes a lot to ask right even when we we need help it takes a lot to ask we don't want to ask all we want is dignity which is promised to us um but the dichotomy the uh, the sad truth is that we have to still fight for equal rights in a democracy and uh, i i wish to tell you that the power that you all hold uh, to hold our hands and tell us that we don't need anything we don't need uh, special rights we just need equal rights we need 
basic human rights and i think that uh, just like you don't uh, have to be an animal or a, a, you know a, a pet to support animal rights you don't have to be transgender to support us um, and I just think that, you know, it's a, it, this, we are part of a revolution. I'm so happy that I'm here. Unfortunately, I'm the only transgender person here this year. I hope and pray that the next year onwards, there are many, many more people that identify outside of the binaries of gender because this is just one characteristic of me, right? You don't come, uh, so what's your name? Yes. Why you so, I'm, why, one sec, I'm coming. Why are you scared of me? Huh? Like that you did. Huh? What's your name? Sarabji. Sarabji. So Sarabji, uh, do you enter a room and say, Hi, I'm Sarabji and I'm male. But unfortunately, what happens to us is that we've, you know, we've been boxed in a way where, you know, only trans are women. So my thing is that Sarabji here, I'm sorry to put you on the spot. You have a beautiful smile. Smile more often, no? Yeah. Clap for Sarabjit, yeah. Clap. See, you all feel scared of our claps. We don't feel scared of our claps. Please clap for Sarabjit. So, I just wanted to tell you all that, you know, we are boxed. And the only thing, unfortunately, people see, the first thing is our gender. Or the fact that we are transgender. And I think that it's a, it's a matter of perspective. But let me tell you, it's not like we are ashamed to feel be transgender and I'm in fact very very happy to tell you that um, it's become an urban problem uh, to not accept trans people or non-binary people because if you go to uh, uh, the more rural areas in India uh, we celebrate uh, trans people whenever there is a, and then you all remember us no when there is when there is a celebration in your house when you'll get married when there are children that time you all want the blessings but then suddenly uh, somehow, uh, every other moment of our waking life, we are uh, made to feel subhuman. And I think that I come from privilege for the fact that my parents accepted me, kept me in, the in their house, gave me education. These are my privileges. And the fact that, you know, uh, I get to represent my country at several platforms as an artist, as an entrepreneur, as a philanthropist. But I want you all to make a promise going forward that uh, this tokenism you know changing your logos uh, it doesn't do anything uh, to the rainbow flags you know it's really it's not it's so much more than that it's a, it's it's empowering people with real lives real struggles and i think that uh, it is time it has now come time that uh, we walk the talk and uh, as i said our constitution promises as a life of dignity so therefore i would love that the two hands that clap and ask from you i ask from you today dignity and a life of equity and would you would you give us that thank you so much it's been a pleasure and y'all are absolutely amazing clap louder please clap i love it i love it on behalf of all my trans sisters my trans siblings i thank you and it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much.